What is going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another edition of On the Road to Victory. I'm your host, Jimmy Smith, and I hope you're all having yourselves a great Thursday afternoon. Training camp is done. They had their longest practice of the day. They were in full pads again today. Thought it was only going to be the top half, but it was reported that they were in all their pads. So, Look, regardless, uh, training camp is happening, ladies and gentlemen. Football is right around the corner. We actually have preseason football tonight. Tonight. Football. Yes! I can't express enough how much I want to run through a wall. So, preseason football is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. The cutdowns next week, all of it. It's coming. It's here. So, a lot of people don't get excited about this time, but you know here we are very excited to talk about all of the battles going on at all of the positions. A lot of depth here on this team. You know, I keep hearing, you know, oh, we're lacking here. That No, go check out those positional battles. This team is loaded across the board, and we've got battles all over the place. Herschel's pumped about it. He's moving around. If you're wondering what the hell that just was, a little ass popping up there. But uh, look. Excitement to be had. I wish I could be there. If I lived closer, I could probably be there a lot more. But uh, what a pleasure it was to be there up close, personal. And now you're seeing the narrative changing. Everybody's getting on board, baby. Saw a lot of positive things. And we saw things that we thought were positive, And they were even more so. I mean, the offensive line, the defensive line, both. Now, today, a little bit of struggles maybe with the offensive line. But what I saw, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the NFL is in for a rude awakening, so we're going to get into all of it. But I appreciate you all taking the time. Whether you have any questions, comments, please feel free to let me know. But uh, thank you for hitting that like button, subscribing, whatever you're doing to support me. I truly appreciate all of you guys. Drew, my man in the building, what is going on, dude? Hope you're having a great day so far. Uh, ready to talk about this training camp. Ready to get pumped up. This weekend, we're doing the 53-man projected roster. If you're looking for it, I already have it out there, though, really. If you go through that positional breakdown, I break down each position, how many I think we're keeping at each one of those. So a lot of content there. Go check those out. But I am pumped up. Hope you guys are ready tomorrow. We're going to talk about the training camp notes again. But this weekend, plan on breaking down that defense and then breaking down a lot of stuff here uh, and doing the 53-man projection. So appreciate you all taking the time. What is going on, Nina? Hope you and the family are well. I hope you're all ready to rock and roll. We're going through these notes. Again, unfortunately, I was not there, so I these are not from my eyes. These are from the likes of Zach Berman, uh, Elliot Shore Parks, Josh Tolentino, Chris Franklin. So <clears throat> appreciate those guys being out there. Let's go. We got football tonight. You know it, dude. I, I'm really excited to watch Doug Peterson, you know, and those Jaguars. I don't care who it is, honestly, but, you know, the Jaguars, the Raiders, everybody said Josh McDaniels was coming here. Don't know where that rumor came from, but you know I was shooting that down. We talked about Nick Sirianni. I was actually traveling at the time. You guys remember I pulled over, made that live video, talked about him getting that second interview. So going to be intriguing to watch both these coaches with their young men, what they're going to do here. So excited. I know it's just preseason, but very excited for it. Let's go. Ma'am, indeed. Nina knows what's up. Uh, she is a big fan as well. And look, Dougie P, we're all going to have love for him forever. You know, so... Let's go. Uh, but the birds, they're coming soon, ladies and gentlemen. Cannot wait to see it. What's going on, my man Anthony in the building? Uh, yeah, man, I've, I've been waiting for people to keep chiming in with that, and I'm glad you agree now, Anthony. You know, this defense, I keep trying to show over and over again the multiple schemes, the multiple fronts, all the different things you're going to see. People just, instead of getting excited with me, it's, oh, we're switching deep. No, we're not. We ran the same defense last year. That's why we needed to add a nose tackle, a Sam linebacker, two middle linebackers, an outside corner, a safety. We added all of those things. Jaquise Keetart, James Bradbury, Kaiser White, N'Kobe Dean, Jordan Davis, Hassan Reddick. Let's go. That defense is about to whoop some ass, and people are finally figuring it out. Rodney fighting an Indy. Oh, well, best of luck to them. You know, Alston, yo, he's throwing some hope your way that, that you are doing well. And look, I hope you're all doing well. I love to see you guys sharing the love here because that's what this is all about. So let's get into these notes. Chad Johnson calling Eagles favorite. Well, I told you they would all be joining a board here soon. So look, man, I told you it wouldn't take long, but they would see what I saw. And look, I was trying to talk about this last year. What, what ammo we had, what could Howie do? Well, Howie went out and did that. I got the chance to talk to Howie the other day, go right up to him, just walked right up to him, gave him the old point, hit the look, dude, it was awesome. Like, what? 
walked right up, shook his hand. I think it was a little different this time, me towering over him rather than, you know, me in the wheelchair. So I told him, look, if you remember me, I was the guy in the wheelchair that told you I would not only get out of this chair, but I would work with you one day. Got to talk to him a little bit about that, but I talked to him about what I saw him doing and how I broke it down this all season, showing the cap, trying to help fans and media try to understand these things so there's not so much strife and so much anger every year just because of the misinformation and just being, you know, ignorant to something is not an excuse to be upset about something. So trying to educate the masses, trying to get people and to sit there one on one with him, talk to him about that. That was truly something special, man. And, uh, you know, I broke down every single move we made before they happened this year because when you are a fan of someone like Howie and you see how he works and you see how this team is being built, it was easy for me to see. So while people were telling we're trading for Sean Watson, we're switching defense, none of those things were happening. We were talking about how this team was actually going to look and what we were going to look like, dude. Oh, my God, and I think it's scary for other teams. So glad to see other people joining in. I love it. So let's go. We're going to talk about the injuries today at camp. Look, my Lada, while I was there, apparently got a concussion. He looked to be all right, but we're being careful here. We got the padding on the helmet. And then his backup, Andre Dillard, also out with a concussion. So we want to be careful here. People really upset we're not tackling. Not me. I just want the, them to stay healthy in training camp, preseason, whatever it is. You got 18 weeks to figure it out in the season, and then hopefully some more weeks in the postseason. So we shall see. But Grant Calcaterra still dealing with that hamstring injury, unfortunate. Richard Rogers taken off the pup list last night. So we'll see what happens there. But Mac McCain still out that knee injury. Talked about the injury to Devontae Smith. Turns out it was a groin injury. He came back yesterday in practice after that injury. So not a big deal. Just being precautious with him. I'm okay with that. Greg Ward ended up apparently with a toe injury on Tuesday as well. So he also sat out. So got a look at some other guys with these guys injured. But, uh, yeah, you want to keep everyone healthy, be cautious with them. Doesn't seem to be anything serious with any of these guys. Devontae Smith was day-to-day, -day, they said. And as I said, he came back yesterday. I watched him go in the tent and then come out, try to report that to you guys. Now, Zach Paschal, dealing with that illness, the stomach bug has not been able to be at training camp. Well, he was been, he's been there, but just not in a practicing capacity. Today, he was there in a limited capacity, but we're hoping to get him going. This wide receiving corpse could be something, really really special. So we'll see what it looks like, uh, you know, on game day, but right now very excited about it. Now, Deion Kane, he was looking pretty good for a guy, you know, looking, you know, from the bottom all the way up. And I think that, you know, this kid obviously could end up on the practice squad. Don't think he makes a team, but a bummer to see him injured. So uh, we'll find out what that injury is, but he and Arthega Whiteside both hurt in practice today. We already talked about Arthega Whiteside. I really don't think he's making this team. Maybe he winds up on the practice squad, but I think, you know, this really hurts their chances, clearly. But those were the injuries for today. Trying to move through these, but uh, the comments are rolling in. So hold on one second. We'll get back to the notes in a second here. Yo, Jimmy, glad you, yo, it was uh, fantastic. Um, you know, and I have so many great memories from being a kid, you know, and it's like from Westchester to Lehigh. And now, you know, at the NovaCare Complex, being there in a different capacity, though, not, you know, running up to the players, not giving a shit about anything like that. You know, actually at the end of it, hanging out with the players, just standing there like, Oh yeah, this is normal. Right. Uh, yeah, this is normal. It was amazing. Um, it was truly amazing getting to talk to them, uh, tell them I'm changing the game, man. It was, that's what I am working toward, man. So going to hope for more of those experiences, man, and hope to keep getting closer to those guys and just show them that there's somebody out here that, just wants to talk about what they know and spread some of that knowledge and keep learning too. I'm not saying I know everything, but you know, just out here trying to show some support for my team and, you know, bringing that energy, bringing that passion. And I think they appreciate that. So it was, it was beyond an amazing experience, man, being there with the people I was like, dude, just an hour and a half too. So it was awesome, man. So I appreciate you. And uh, yeah, man, go check out those videos, the everything dude. It was, it was awesome. It really was. Uh, my man, yo, what's going on, dude? Hope you're doing well. I'm uh, still running on fumes here, but we're ready to talk about some of these training camp notes. So hope you are doing well. No, you're pushing out lots of content. You got yourself a game tonight, my man. We're just talking about those Jags and the Raiders. So excited to see some of that young talent you guys got tonight. My man, what is going on, dude? Uh, look, man, I appreciate all the comments and everything you've been leaving on YouTube, Twitter, everything. Truly appreciate your support. 
you know I am still on cloud nine about that other day. And then when they left, I was like, is it cool if I stay for a second? I ended up getting kicked out. I, I wanted to go over to the media thing and they wouldn't let me. But uh, that's why I ended up seeing Howie tracking his ass down, getting to talk to him for a few minutes. And then I was like, ah, I didn't get a picture with anyone because I was like, I'm going to be professional, right? Not, you don't do that. Dude. You don't take pictures with people and get autographs. So I couldn't help it with Howie. I was like, you know what? F that taking the picture. So he was like, oh, yeah, of course. Then I asked him something else at the end, but. We'll just see how that works out before I say anything. Uh, but let's go. Oh, dude, I uh, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that practice. It was it was awesome. And being someone, being with someone that trains with them and someone that is a relationship with one of them, you got to really hear some really awesome stuff and to really just get some inside stuff. And, you know, I wanted to go to the trenches. You guys know how I am about that stuff when they weren't having the team activities and that's what they wanted to do. We were right there, you know, getting waved at, talking. It was just like, is this... This is real right now, right? And now the next step is to try to get the press pass, to try to be out on that field, to try to be able to take pictures and videos without getting yelled at, you know? So I'm, I'm taking steps, but it was amazing, man. It was a it was a big step for me. So thank you for asking. Um, I truly had a great time. Uh, what is going on, my man? Thank you for tuning in, dude. It was was 150, dude. We turned it up 500 notches. It was it was nuts. It was nuts. Throw me follow back on Twitter for futures. Yeah, definitely, man. Um. If I didn't it, look, man, I've been getting a lot of followers and sub subscribers and whatever else. And, you know, all those things. I definitely try to follow everyone back. So if I missed it, I will definitely try to uh, I'll find you and I'll definitely follow you back because uh, I'm always appreciative to all of you guys. And if I don't, I always tell you, just say something to me. There's nothing wrong with that because it's there's just sometimes it goes in spurts. Sometimes, you know, I don't get anybody. And I'll start just like <laughs> people are like, oh, wait, who's this guy? It's like, well, I've just been trying to do this for years now. And so I appreciate the support, man. But uh, definitely. Yeah, but the DMs have some tips on how you can achieve media credentials for the Eagles. Yeah, I actually went up to them and talked about getting credentials right to the people you had to talk to. So I appreciate that. But uh, the trainer was like, look, our next step is getting you that press pass. So let's get that done. I was like, oh, yeah. My next step is getting in that bro barn. But I appreciate you. Uh, good morning to you. It is a, a beautiful afternoon here in Central PA. I am ready. For some football, it's not too hot. Uh, the last couple days have been brutal. And being out in that sun like I was at camp, um, I did not prepare myself for that. And I just got my ass beat. I was just out there. And there were tents there, but I, you think I was going to hang out in a tent? No, that, that just wasn't going to happen. So um, I got my ass beat. And I still think I was reeling from my beach vacation. Dude, I am a vampire. And Oh, my Irish ass gets burned up quick. And with this disease, dude, I'm not supposed to be in like extreme weather. So if I go in the heat for too much or if I go in the cold for too long, then I pay. Um, and I definitely my head was pounding that day and then the next day. So quite the experience driving and all that. It was uh, but it was worth it, dude. I would fight a polar bear to, you know, be at those things. So I hope you're having yourself a great day so far. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. What is going on, my man? J hey, yo, Jay, I appreciate the hell out of you, too. All of you guys that have been commenting on all the videos, everything, your support means the world because we don't keep growing without those comments, the likes, the subscriptions, all that stuff. The algorithm needs to pick it up. So, look, man, as much as I say, like, look, I'm not here to be the coolest YouTuber or whatever. Like, I really want a job working with the Eagles. We got to start somewhere. We got to keep building the empire. So, Appreciate all the support. Hope you're having yourself a great day. And that goes to all of you, uh, not just the people I've shouted out, but just your names pop out to me. And I truly appreciate you guys. What's up with Driscoll? I haven't heard much. Well, you know, I talked about this with Isaac Sayamalu healthy. You know, he's going to be that starting right guard, I feel. And I think Jack Driscoll provides that swing ta tackle capability, that versatility to provide depth in multiple positions. He has a future here for a very long time. I think he could be a starter on that right side eventually here. But for now, he provides that depth. So very excited to see what he can do if he can just stay healthy. Same goes for Sayamalu, both of them coming back from injury. So that's a big one for both of them. Let's hope they stay healthy. Jimmy No Cab, you know it. Let's go. I, I thought that was pretty funny, so I'm glad you enjoyed that, Tate. Good to see you, my man. Hope you are doing well. I think you commented on the one video. I was trying to do a live one at one point. I got yelled at. It wouldn't go live. Dude, there were so many things happening. It was... It was a great time, though, uh, but I appreciate all of you. I think I have a solid backup quarterback, Minshew. Uh, Minshew had a good day today, but, yeah, he had his struggles. Um, I like him as a backup. He's a backup. You know, you don't need him um, unless something happens. So I'm really excited about Jalen Hurts, but we have one of the better backup quarterbacks in the league. Excited about that. 
great. Hope you get to meet you. Hey, um, and we'll definitely keep working at it, man. And you got to have the right credentials. And it's like, well, okay, well, I'm just going to have you match up my stuff with their stuff. And then we'll see. Okay. Well, why don't we do it that way? Uh, so we'll get there, ladies and gentlemen. Now let's get to these notes. Uh, I got to get rolling out here, but uh, let's touch on some of the things that we're talking about today at training camp. So Jalen Hurts, AJ Brown, they continue to connect another touchdown today. And Dude, watching them uh, the other day in person was quite, uh, look, they can say whatever they want about Jalen Hurts. He continues to progress. And A.J. Brown, he's a monster. He really reminded me of when I was a kid watching Terrell Owens. So it was truly, truly awesome uh, to see them live. But they just keep growing together, and I cannot wait to see what that looks like on game days. So exciting, exciting. And Jalen Hurts, man. You know, this defense, I've talked about, you know, how good I think they are. I watched them the other day. He's dealing with a really good defense. So we talk about iron sharpens iron. So they want to talk about his mistakes, all this, that, the other thing. That's great. That's fine and dandy. But to me, Jalen Hurts, you know, he had an interception or two last week. I haven't seen one all week, you know. So he's cleaning up things. And I think, you know, they can push whatever narratives they want. But I was there. I saw things and I saw great things. And today... He maybe had a couple struggles, but it sounds like he had another great day. Uh, Gardner Minshew did get a touchdown to Togi. He has had his struggles lately, so I wanted to highlight that he did have a decent day today, and so did Reed Sinet. Um, You know, some of these guys definitely struggled when I was there. So, uh, look, maybe it was just me putting that on him, you know, because Jalen Hurts was just there to, you know, ball out, had his best day while I was there. Can't say I did that, but, you know, just saying. Just saying. Anyways, uh, we'll keep it moving. Jalen Rager gets a start at wide receiver with Devontae Smith out, and he actually gets a touchdown on James Bradbury, which is very impressive because he's been whooping ass this offseason. James Bradbury is everything we thought and advertised and more. So I think, look, Jalen Rager has an uphill battle. We know he's been dealing with things on and off the field. I know he's got the skill set, though. So today he gets to come out there and have another good day. And to me, that's huge. You know, you got to keep building on those things. And we've talked about this. If you can be a number four or five for this team, you know, this also helps his trade value if they plan on doing something like that. But you don't want to just cut them. You don't want to give yourself an $8 million hit. That's, no. You trade him, you get $2 million hit. That's not too bad. But I think that, you know, you obviously want him to pan out. A first round pick. If you have him pan out with Quez Watkins, A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, and then, you know, Zach Pascal's here, maybe Britton Covey makes a team. That's quite a wide receiver room right there, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, where you get Jalen Hurts? Shut up. Jalen Hurts is going to continue to improve, and he's going to shut a lot of people up this season. So I'm uh, I'm excited. Hey, and people hate Jalen Ray. Look, I want the best for him. I know he's been going through a lot. I've lost multiple friends. I've lost my father. I know what it's like to go through that kind of stuff. So I know his talent on the field. I know he's got the ability to do these things, and I hope the best for him off the field, mentally, in life, period. I'm just saying when it comes to football, I know he can do it. So I'm hoping the best for him. I'm hoping he gets things figured out, and he could definitely just imagine what a defense is going to have to do if this kid can pan out. Because then you got he and Quez with AJ and Devontae, and oh, my. And oh, yeah, Dallas Goddard, Miles, and Kenny Gamer, all, yeah, all those guys. Uh, yeah, wow. Let's go. So. Good news to hear. But again, it's training camp. We talk about this. Take all of this with a grain of salt. But it's good to see them doing well, right? You don't want to hear that they're doing the opposite. So it's good news, but take it with a grain of salt. Now, Britton Covey gets the start at punt returner again. He did that the other day. Greg Ward out, so he gets the shot. And look, this is a battle we talk about. I really think Covey could make this team. I don't think it's Devin Allen. Just because Kobe can actually provide that returner ability oh, way better than Devin Allen, because Devin Allen really didn't do that much, hasn't played football in six years. So great. He's got Olympic hurdling and all that stuff. But Kobe, to me, you know, I know he's smaller, like five, six, five, seven. The guy really, I saw him out there. I was like, what the? He is really small, smaller than like the kickers, it looks like. So, you know, he's out there today. He caught a touchdown from Reed Sinet. So he continues. He impressed me the other day when I saw him. So, I continue to be impressed even by the back end of these receivers. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is great news. So, yes. Now, on to the offensive line with those injuries. Raven Clark got the start at left tackle. We talked about him. You know, he's definitely going to make this team. He is the backup to both those guys. Uh, and I feel Jack Driscoll, we talked about, he provides depth too. So, you have versatile guys. Love that. So, Clark comes in. Yes, and if you trade Dillard, then you definitely have Clark as your backup left tackle. Anyways, the pass rush continues to look great. Now, 
we've talked about they're going against the top offensive line in the game. So we are, again, talking about iron sharpening iron. Let's go. Hassan Reddick showing off his speed today, tracking down Miles Sanders, doing a lot of things when I was there the other day. You guys know he was my number one free agent priority this offseason because of that specific Sam linebacker role, the ability to pass rush, but also to drop into coverage, to confuse the offense and you know disguise what you're doing as Jonathan Gannon with these odd fronts, with the multiple defensive schemes that we've talked about for months. And I don't know how the media didn't know. And they kept saying we were switching defense. No, we are not. We're running the same defense, but we actually have the right pieces. We have a nose tackle. We have a same linebacker. Let's go. So excitement to be had. The pass rush looking good. We talked about being 31st in the league last year with only 29 sacks. Unacceptable. So you go out, you bolster that line. You've got Jordan Davis. Oh, he can only block. He can't actually pass rush. Wrong. Yes, he can. He will get after the quarterback. He will take on two people. He will allow Fletcher and Javon Hargrave. I don't know how people, oh, they're going to play over each other. No, they're not. They're going to play next to each other. Learn what a multiple scheme defense looks like, especially a 3-4, because that is our base defense. So back on to the notes. Love that the pass rush is looking good, but linebacker Kaiser White, he is impressing again. And look. He beat Miles Sanders to the sideline, and Miles has been looking great this offseason. So, Kaiser White, we talked about what he can do as a, you know a linebacker that can run sideline to sideline against the run, but in pass coverage too. I think that he, TJ Edwards, and Kobe Dean, what a great linebacking core that is. You know, if you want to consider them all starters, and then behind that you've got Davion Taylor and Sean Bradley. I think that is quite quite the linebacking courts. And then if you want to consider the sand linebackers in that court, I think we keep seven because the son Reddick and I think Kyron Johnson beats out Patrick Johnson, but we shall see. So yes, that's a good problem to have because we've usually been keeping a lot because we just don't know what the hell's going on because we just lack depth. Now we've actually got a lot of depth and that gets me excited. Now I just mentioned TJ Edwards. He continues to impress as well. Had a nice pass breakup on a uh, throw from Hertz to Quez Watkins. So Look, you love to see it. We talked about at the end of last season, TJ Edwards continued to improve. So keep building on that, man. And you, Nicobe, and Kaiser are all going to do your thing. And I cannot wait to see it, man. I really can't. It's uh, It's been a really fun off season. We talked about since last season, you know, let's just weather the storm here and let's get through these bumpy roads because great things are coming. We're going to be contender by next year. And look, here we are. I truly believed it last year, and I definitely believe it now. And I think you're going to see most of the media coming back and joining in. You know what I mean? So I'm all about it, you know, and let's go, man. Uh, hopefully, Kobe is Danny Woodhead. Yeah, man. Uh, look, and Kobe, he can provide all kinds of things. You know, you it's a great point. You know, the end arounds, the sweeps, all that stuff. The kid put the ball in his hands. You say the same thing for A.J. Brown. You know, I, I think he could definitely make it on this team. So, he could be that six wide receiver. And I know that sounds crazy keeping six, but go check out those positional breakdowns. Again, this weekend, I'm going to do a 53 man breakdown and we're going to talk about every single one. So you can see it as a whole. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm pumped. And I think he could definitely make the team uh, running back Philly. I running back Philly. Are you running back Philly? Uh, the guy that does the Eagles and Sixers. I, if you are, I, I think I have seen your show a couple times. Definitely enjoyed the hell out of it. Appreciate you tuning in. If if not, if you are somebody else, I'll definitely check your show out. Uh, but I appreciate anybody who takes the time to tune in. Getting excited about this season. Just, you know, trying to teach about this defense. Trying to show people if we have a top five defense. Top three is my opinion. I think, you know, and I know that sounds crazy, but look, it, it's going to take a little time. It's just on paper now. It's going to take time. We're not tackling. It's but you got the Lions. That's a nice game to really get things going with. And then you've got, you know, the Vikings, who's a really tough test. But if, you know, you get spanked or whatever happens, really, it's a great learning lesson because you've got a great team. Dalvin Cook, Justin Jefferson, we know. Kirk Cousins, though, he struggles in primetime games. So going to be a very interesting first home game. But I'm excited about this team, just trying to spread that excitement. So I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, yes, he did. Uh, he has a groin injury, but I was there when he got hurt. I actually was standing right next to the tent. I didn't realize it. And he walked around. I was like, oh, shit. Uh, he's going in there. And so I posted it real quick to you guys. And I waited for him to come out. And then I posted it because he went right back on the field. And he was playing. So I was like, oh, nothing serious here. So that's great. You know what I mean? So, um, But he is out today because you want to be precautious with that kind of stuff, especially your first round pick last year. I think, you know, 
And I know people, some people were like, whoa, when I said Larry Fitzgerald, Anquan Bolden, I'm talking about the mold of these guys having, you know, that possession yak route running monster in Devonte Smith. That reminds me of Larry Fitzgerald, Anquan Bolden. I think it's pretty self-explanatory how AJ Brown reminds me of him. Uh, but you know, those two together, what they can do. And, you know, the same goes for the defense, adding, you know, a big guy like Bradbury who could take on those tougher receivers because Slay's been getting his ass kicked by A.J. Brown. Oh, <laughs> damn camp. But that's what James Bradbury's for. So, dude, all around, oh, yeah, I'm excited about it. Bradbury, what a pickup. Yep, pass rush coverage, finally complement each other. That's the thing, man. When you got a front seven like that, it's okay if you don't have a great secondary. Look at the Super Bowl we got. We had Darby and Mills as our corners, you know. We had Jenkins and McLeod as safeties, but – you talk about, you know, what this front seven is going to look like now. Holy shit. But it, it's okay because we've got one of the best trios and corners probably in Avante, Darius, and James Bradbury. So, Jesus. Um, and the safeties, I'm excited about Marcus Epps. And I think other people are starting to see now in camp what I was talking about last year that he can play free safety. And I think he, Tart, and Harris are all going to compete for snaps. And I'm excited about that. We actually have safety depth too. What the f What is happening? Am I that ripped? I, I might be. I'm not sure. Oh, dude, that's awesome, man. And thank you for tuning in, dude. I don't think we've ever had the pleasure of talking, but uh, it is a pleasure to meet you. And look, I have been trying to definitely branch out. And I, I always tell you guys, I'm like, look, I, I definitely might seem like I'm the most outgoing person, but I'm such a weirdo when it comes to like reaching out to people and like doing shows and stuff. But it is always a pleasure to meet you guys. I, you know, got to meet Philly Mike and Lord Brunson and just all of the fans, everybody. This is what it's all about, man. Just getting excited together. And maybe we, we can get pissed together when there's time too. But, you know, there's excitement to be had right now. And I, I just love to see it. So I really appreciate you taking the time, my man. Keep doing great things. And I can't wait to see that Sixers content too, because that's it's another team I'm really hopeful for. This shirt I'm wearing here, we could probably do without that content for a while. I'll be honest with you. We're not even going to get into that. Not even. Nope. Defense going to force so many. Yeah, that's another thing we needed to do. And look, people talk about the lack of blitzing. We actually blitz the least amount last year so yes we did not but with the way we run these schemes and each week it's going to be different with the matchup you're you know whoever the offense is but the way this is built you don't need to blitz per se it's about getting pressure and as long as you create pressure i don't care who you're sending but that's why you have jordan davis uh he's going to eat people and allow the linebackers to hit certain gaps and when you run that three four mm, you're going to see some magical things ladies and gentlemen so very very excited about this Never saw your channel. You know your stuff. and have great. Hey, I really appreciate that, man. And, you know, I've been doing this for a few years, but I unfortunately, when I got sick, you know, I just started when I was in my hospital bed almost, you know, I was on my deathbed. I started making live videos and that kind of just turned into, and I didn't even like social media, but I started using Facebook. Ugh, I can't even use it anymore. But that's where I started making videos. What a mistake. And then I went to Twitter finally. And now I think it's been like a, almost a year and a half that I've been, I know I signed up for YouTube a couple years ago, but I finally started making videos on here. And dude, I've been really meeting some awesome people. And I wish I would just stop being so shy about these things and just branch out because I'd be able to meet more of you guys and you would know my show is out here and I wouldn't just be drifting out to see here. But uh, I appreciate that, man. And I've just been almost died. And, you know, that year was 2017. And that year I tried to break down why Nick Foles could win the Super Bowl. And after we did, it just felt like it was destiny. So I just kept building on it, man. And you know, the brand was called On the Road to Victory because I was trying to live. And here we are, man, just still growing, still going. And, you know, now I've met some pretty awesome people. I reached out. I was interviewing Eagles players and just, uh, you know, alumni and whoever I could get. And I ended up, like, running into the people that work with the Eagles players. And I've made friends out of that. So now that started to make some real connections for me. So we're just hoping to keep building. Hopefully soon get that press pass and give you guys some more of that energy while I'm live there. What sucked was being there and not being able to take pictures. Or now I did get that picture with Howie and I tried to, you know, and being able to talk to him for a few minutes, I I'm guaranteeing you guys, I am going to get in there, dude. I'm telling you. And if I can hit the jackpot with what I asked him at the end, dude, you guys will be very happy, but uh, I know I am, but I appreciate you, man. I, that really means the world. When you guys that have been doing this and, you know, I really love your content that, that really, it means a lot. So appreciate the hell out of you for tuning in, man. And we'll definitely have to keep talking and I'll definitely not be so shy when I'm watching. Uh, it, it's great to hear from you though, man. Appreciate you. Slay is off speedy receivers, Brad got to be in the, yep. And that's what it's all about. We talk about, you know, having that yin and yang, yin and yang here is on offense and defense. And 
that's something I broke down. You remember when I talked about trading for James Bradbury, why I thought he was the perfect piece because of that ugly ass contract needed to restructure him if you were doing that, but no way the Giants were keeping him. They cut him. You know, I was like, you better sign him. How? Oh, yeah, this is going to be perfect because he already did it on offense. We talked about how we needed to trade for a big name receiver to put with AJ Brown. We can't wait for Jalen Breger. You cannot rely on how he taking a first round receiver. Just get one. Just trade for one of those guys that wanted a new contract. Boom. I can't believe we did it. So I, I'm I mean, I can, but it's just it's nuts that it happened. Uh, yes, he did. Uh, you might have missed the beginning. Any of you guys that missed it, I threw up the injury report earlier. Uh, let me toss it up here for you just real quick in case you missed it here. But yes, Dillard, my lot out with concussions. McCain still dealing with the knee. Ward, the new one with a toe injury. Devontae Smith being precautious with that groin. Calcaterra still dealing with the hamstring. Pascal was back. He was there actually the other day too, but limited there actually on the field today. So nice to see. Deion Kane, Arthega Whiteside, both a little banged up. We'll see what their injuries are. But my man, I have to watch back up your day. Hey, man. Just appreciate you taking the time when you're watching live. You go back whenever it is, man. And always down to talk whenever I see your comments, man. I always love your energy. Know you're excited and always ready to learn. And I'm always ready to learn, too. And this week, I got to learn a lot. We're talking about being with the guy that literally not only trains with our offensive line, but linemen across the effing NFL and also the 15-0 and fighter you know, from Philly right now that he's – or Jersey, is it, that he's training with. So – Dude, it was awesome. It was awesome. It was awesome. So I uh, appreciate any time you guys take. Um, and that stuff hopefully just gets more and more intense for you guys. I'm trying to make that content. Is, and then when I get a pass, I'll be able to record a lot more. So not just tell you about it, but I wish I could show you something. I did sneak a couple. But I'm not going to lie to you. Um, yeah. Um, to my friends or if I ever meet you at a game, just tell me. I'll show you. Uh, Empire Sports, I've seen the same. Um, what's that? Um, Joy Melodic, I just... Um, yeah, if you're talking about the concussion, that's what I was talking about earlier. Um, yep. And he got that on Tuesday, but, uh, it doesn't seem to be a big deal. No excuse to run blitz. You think Gannon will, um, only when it's needed. And I don't think you'll need to with the way this defense is run. And it's not necessarily, it's what they consider a blitz. So in a three, four, things are going to be a little bit different. So you're not going to have to blitz when you're got Jordan Davis in the middle, Fletcher Cox, Hargrave on each side of them. And then outside of that, you got sweat and Reddick. So Best of luck to offensive lines, tight ends, running backs, and, of course, quarterbacks. Uh, because this defense means business, man, and people can keep sleeping. But I can promise you they're about to wake up. We need to fix our special teams ASAP. Don't know what you mean there. I like what we have at special teams. Uh, no excuse not to run blitz. Um, it is if you don't need to. Um, but you do need to get pressure. That is the name of the game. So however you have to do that, do it. And definitely you want to see some blitzes, but um, you're not going to need to see many when you're going to create as much pressure as I feel we will with the front we have. That's why I was so adamant about the number one pick needed to be Jordan Davis and the number one free agent needed to be Hassan Reddick because that changes the game. This whole defense finally works. So this defense improved when they didn't have those pieces last year. So I'm ready for it. Let's go on the road to victory, baby. Appreciate you tuning in there, BDB. Anybody who's taking the time today, I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are awesome. Really hoping Gannon doesn't play as much soft coverage with the versatile players we have. Glad you're doing well. And hey, Christian, appreciate you taking the time, my man. Look, we talked about this. You know, you're going to see that zone still, but the way a zone works, like you're in a zone, but you find the man to take. You know, these guys that are all put into this scheme all know how to do that. And uh, look, it's going to take a little time into Kobe Dean, but he is the future there at linebacker. I think having Kaiser White and he, Two nickel linebackers. We talked about that three, four outside. You know, those are your two inside linebackers. And then outside, you have Sweat and Reddick. And talked about Reddick as a Sam linebacker being able to drop in coverage. It's not that he's going to do it all the time. It's just he can do that. And that allows Jonathan Gannon to disguise things. He's standing up. He's got his hand in the dirt. You can turn right into a four, three. You can turn into a four, two, whatever. If you got the nickel in, you can do so many different things. You can have the overhang. We talk about five, two. You could change that three, four right into a five, two. Those guys sweat and Reddick put their hand in the dirt. Imagine that. Imagine you've got sweat and Reddick outside and it's already going to, that's our base defense. But if they put their hand in the dirt, dude, best of luck to them, dude. But I don't think it's going to be soft. It's just last year, lack of personnel. These guys just couldn't do the job that these guys we picked up are going to be able to do. So you're going to see the defense actually run how it's supposed to. So we finished last year, you know, 10th in yards given up, which is amazing for how the season started. 
but 18th, I believe, in points given up. So um, that's not great, but there were improvements, man, and that's all we wanted to see last year, and we saw the holes. So we filled those holes. That's what I wanted to see, six possible new starters. Saw the pick without, yeah, man, my man Philly Mike was just mentioning you. So run it back was just in here. Love to see it. My man was giving you guys all a shout out for you guys that are the vets, the pros out here kicking ass. And dude, uh, watching your guys stuff, like it really gets me pumped up, fired up. Like this is what it's all about. So I'm just trying to share that. And I was mentioning last week, you know, when I found out, I think it was on Sunday when I got asked like, Hey, do you want to go training? Camp? I was like, wait, do I want to? Yes, I want to go. So um, I, I was very excited. It got thrown on me, but I got to go. But this is what we're trying to build here. The new media. Uh, you know, guys like Philly Mike here, Lord Brunson, run it back, providing real content to the fans. People that really, you know, just love their birds, their Sixers, their Flyers, Phillies, whatever it is. You just crave it every second. That's what this is about. And no narratives. Nobody trying to push, oh, this guy sucks, this, that. So this is what it's all about. So if you guys aren't, make sure you're out here following these guys that are comment that I'm talking about because there are more people out here who love their birds. And, you know, I'm trying to get to a point where, you know, I can work with the Eagles and I can hopefully open the door for more people to get in there because this is what the fans like. This is what people really want, man. And, you know, being in there in a capacity where, like, I couldn't, like, it was weird because I thought, am I going here, like, as media? Am I going to have to be, like, dressed up and professional and, taking pictures and videos, but then it was like, oh, I can't take any pictures or videos. Like I'm just here. But then it was like, okay, I'm not getting anything signed or doing anything like that. Like I gotta be cool. Cause I'm here with like the people that hang out with them every day. And if I want that, I gotta be chill. So dude, it was awesome. But get this Mike, right as I'm walking out, I'm like, Hey, is it cool if I stay for a second? And I was going to go over to the media thing and see what I could do. But I walked back and there he is standing there. So I was like, mm, yeah, walked right over. Gave him the old point, and he just, like, kind of, with the shades on, you could see, he's like, what the fuck? And I was like, howie. Walked right up to him. Shook his hand. I was like, I don't know if you remember me, blah, blah, blah. I told him about, you know, when I first met him in the wheelchair, how I told him I'm getting out of this chair, and I will be working with you. So I told him that, and he was like, oh, my God. He acted like he remembered. Yeah, I doubt it. But we talked about some things, man. I got to tell him how much I loved what he did this offseason, how I tried to break it down for fans. And he was like, thank you so much. It was It was pretty funny, but... I just talked about, you know, keep doing big things, man. And I told him, you know, I got out of the chair. I'm still working toward the next part. Asked him some things. We're going to hope to really make some magic happen here. But if not, it was still a great experience, man. And uh, I saw you uh, like that comment. So, dude, there's that picture. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate the sport because what an experience it was, dude. Like, just Lane Johnson. I, I was saying this yesterday, but I honestly think he's in the best shape I've ever seen because I was literally, he was right next to me, dude. Like, it was hanging out talking to him and i'm like this is insane like i think this guy might be even in more shape than ever and i know that's because gabe's helping him but it's like dude this it was awesome um i'm really excited about this team so dude what an experience it was certain about special teams as well we have possibilities kick return over well we've talked about this a million times if you guys want to check out that position by position breakdown on special teams we talked about we got a kicker we got a holder that's great long snapper the holder of the football on kicks though that is our punter, Aaron Supposed. He does great there, but at the end of the year, he had a struggle. So it does concern me we didn't make competition, but haven't heard anything bad about it. So we're going to hope that he continues to do well, keeps growing. Last year was his first year um, actually starting on a team. So we'll see uh, if he can get better. Um, I'm hopeful that he does. But beyond that, we actually have a lot of competition at kick returner and punt returner. So go check that video out. We finally have people competing. It's not just, Oh God, we're going to throw somebody back there and hope for the best Greg Ward or Jalen Rager, Boston Scott. It's like, Oh, Kobe's there. Allen's there. Greg Ward's pushing people. Carrick, we fall Zach Pascal. All these guys can return. So we'll see if Pascal gets thrown into the mix. So we'll see, man. And you could use someone like Quez Watkins. And if Jalen Rager steps it up, you never know. You never know, but I'm hopeful maybe someone like Kobe could take it in. So there is some competition there, but maybe you're talking about punter. Uh, that's something I've expressed over and over again. Um, but as a whole, the unit, I like our special teams unit a lot. And I'm glad we finally put ugh, something, something there for competition because, dude, it's been pretty brutal lately. Eagles content creators on the up and up. Brunson hats on ESPN, Philly Mike, interviewing apps. You talking to Howie. We love it. Love to see every second of it. Let's go. So we're going to keep working on those things. And, you know, as we all keep building, we continue to change the game. And you know, that's been my motto for almost five years now, be the change. That is what we're going to do. 
And I love to see it because how many other content creators are doing great stuff out here now. And it's like, we actually have the firepower now to rise up and take down all these people that just really push narratives and get people pissed off. And I can't stand it. Uh, birds are set on personality. Just hope coaching and play calling up to par. Yeah, I, I loved what I saw from the coaching and uh, play calling last year. I couldn't believe with uh, the lack of personnel. So to see how we go kill it, it was awesome. Open, but yep. Um, love what you're doing and the level of insight you bring to the game. Everything you do is great. Hey, man, I really appreciate that, man. And just, you know, and I don't ever try to say like, oh, I know more than this guy or that. I just feel, you know, find your niche. And make it happen. It's like my friends are always harassing me and people have always in my family harassed me about football because I'm just like the Eagles encyclopedia, they call me. So, look, I, I'm just a nut job. I love this stuff. I always have since I was a little boy. My dad hated Chris Collinsworth. He'd mute it. So I'd learned every single player, their height, weight. I want to know every single thing about them. I'm still the same way today. So we all know when I almost died, I decided, hey, let's go chase that dream. So we're back, baby. Now, I'm not just talking to the local people at the bar. We're out here talking birds everywhere. So the fact that you guys all around the world, wherever you're from, dude, I appreciate the hell out of that, man. Um, every single one of you, it means the world because just out here trying to provide what I feel, you know, because all these guys are providing awesome stuff. And it's like, that's all it's about, man. Just getting people excited. We're the most insane fans in the world they say but that's because we're the most passionate loving fans we bleed green for our team so that's what it's all about man so make sure you're showing love to those other people too because that's what this is about that brotherly love and i love to see it man so thank you i truly appreciate it my man ak another one look and this is what i mean man we're just all about building here and just trying to spread that brotherly love so i hope you're having a great day great day too man it is it's a beautiful one and i was trying to make this a quick one but you guys are awesome turned into a long one and that's that's what i'm all about though man if you guys want to talk for 17 hours if i don't have to do something i would but i do gotta get rolling out but it's it's awesome to see that how you guys can just do that you know what i mean it's like i'll just be talking for two minutes about something i'm like oh we'll see if this goes for five ten minutes and then here we are so you guys are awesome and you know for the days i wake up and this disease is kicking my ass don't try to complain about it anything like that but it's like you guys keep me going man seeing other content creators out there seeing the fans pumped up about stuff it's like that gets me up it's like you know what and obviously I got to, you know, work and have my family and life too, you know, but I mean, it's hard, you know, when you're like, is this, you know, when you're thinking like, is this going to be worth like the three, four hours I'm going to put worth it? You know what I mean? Like there's days where you're like, oh, I just rather lay down my liver hurts. And it's like, no, it's worth it every single day because of you guys. So I never have to feel like it's not, you know what I mean? So I can't stress enough how much I appreciate every single one of you left you a message on Twitter. That's what's up. I'll definitely check my message. I think I've gotten back to everybody since my vacation and my trip. But if I didn't, if anybody feels I missed out on you or I was ignoring you, please don't ever feel that way. Just tag me or message me again. Uh, sometimes it gets wild. So yes, appreciate you uh, reaching out and I'll definitely check out what you say. Um, I do not see any new messages, but I'll definitely, oh, that's right. I don't have notifications going, dumbass. Uh, I'll definitely check them though. Force teams in a more third and long defense get more to that is the plan, my man. That is what a defense wants to do. So that's why we added all those pieces that we talked about. So very excited about it. Go check out those breakdowns, though, if you want to learn more about each and every one of those positions. I really appreciate that, man. It was awesome getting to meet you, and I can't wait to continue working with you. And as the season, you know, goes along, I'm going to be having people on. So hopefully you'll come on the show. But, man, it has been a wild ride these years. And look, it's been hell trying to put weight back on. I used to look even worse than this. Look like a damn crib keeper out here. Like, like, oh, but. You guys have been there no matter what. And it's not about what I look like. I know that. But I'm just saying, like, it's hard for me, you know, when I was first doing this. And you guys have made me feel like I, I can do anything. So, I it, seriously, I can't do this without all of it. And whether or not I just met you a couple of weeks ago or you're somebody who's been here for four years, I cannot do this without your guys' support. And, you know, the drive to, you know, do my best for you guys and, you know, to be a part of something because you guys are doing great things too. So, whether, and that's not just the... You know, other people that with the content, you know, all the creators out there, but the fans too, man, we're just, we're out here for you guys and everybody just, you know, we're trying to bring great things. So I appreciate the hell out of you. And uh, hey, man, I appreciate that. I really do. Uh, just doing what I can, trying to spread that brotherly love, man. So if you guys enjoy it, that means the world to me. And I truly love you guys, man. And always here for you. And I always say this, but, I, and I don't mean to preach. I'm not saying whatever, but we all go through things. And the reason I started this is because I almost died and I almost died because I almost drank myself to death. Cause I watched my three best friends die. Then I watched my father die and it was tough on me. And I used alcohol as an escape. So if you have whatever your vice is, whatever your drug is, you got something going on, or maybe you don't have something going on. You just want to talk sports. I'm always here for you guys. And I, and I mean it because 
you guys are always here for me. So I always try to extend my hand. And some of you, you know, definitely take advantage of that. And I love it, man. Like, please do. I, I would love to give you every answer I have. You don't have to wait for a show. I'd love to, you know, help you out with something you got going on. And I don't have the answers to life, man. I just have experience and I try to share my wisdom and hope that I can help. So don't ever try to preach, but I truly love you guys and you mean the world to me. Um, worry about your giants. Uh, no, I, this guy, he's cool, but you guys better hope Nick Sirianni's not doing Chip Kelly. When, oh, yeah. Obviously, that's just a funny statement because Nick Sirianni proved last year he was a great coach. So uh, hilarious. Um, but, um, yeah, with the giants, they better hope uh, old Dable. That's I, clearly he's uh, projecting a little bit there. So uh, best of luck. I hope that pans out for you. Daniel Jones and all, but you know the Eagles, we are sitting pretty right now. I want to thank you again for James Bradbury, though. A great addition to this team. Great show, brother. Appreciate all you do bringing the YouTube game. My man, yo, appreciate the hell out of you, AK. Hope you're doing well, my man. But uh, I love busting your balls, Blue City. Uh, I cannot wait for that first Giants game, my man. It's going to be a fun one. So uh, really excited about it. But uh, 76ers fan, now that uh, that is quite an interesting combo there. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't let, yeah, man. And I appreciate you doing that. You know, I'm just busting your balls. But uh, look, dude, you got the right colors, you know, blue, white, and red. Let's just keep you with the Sixers there. But uh, Phillies, maybe we'll switch you over. Uh, but I uh, appreciate each and every one of you, seriously, from the guys that have been tuning in forever, uh, you know, AK and Drew and all of you guys. And then you got Backyard Birds. You got Blue City. Uh, and then you had Philly Mike and running back tuning in today. I love stuff like that. You got BDB. I don't recall seeing you before, but I appreciate the hell out of you, Josh and Britt. I mean, there are people that, you know, I don't see for months to come back. Whenever, dude, you don't have to comment. I don't care, but I appreciate you guys when you do. Let me know you're out there. Love talking to you guys. Love hearing your opinions. So whether you're watching this later, you want to drop, you know, what you're feeling about this team, the notes today, whatever it is, I'd love to hear from you. You want to reach out to me in my messages, please feel free to do so. Love to help in any way I can. And, you know, if I miss it, Please feel free to let me know on a show or message me again. I always try to be as vigilant as I can, but with life and with all of these platforms I'm trying to grow on, it gets quite wild sometimes. So, um, yeah, man, but I appreciate all of you. Made a bet with my stepdad for the season. Told him to a giant split with the Eagles. He has to give me his Super Bowl. Wow, that's a it's a wild one. I would happily take that bet, though, but that's, uh, that's awesome. I remember you saying your stepdad was a fan. That's great. Back at you, my man. I appreciate you, dude. And look, um, and I appreciate you guys. And I, I should really take my own advice half the time because I definitely go through stuff too. But you guys, seriously, we all go through things. I don't want anyone to ever feel, you know, like they don't have someone because I felt that way. And that's how I almost died. So please don't do that. Um, I, I just, and I'm not trying to preach. I just try to let you guys know, but I love every one of you. Appreciate all of the support. I hope you're having a great day. I will be back tomorrow with all of the notes. And then this weekend, we're doing the 53-man projection. We're going to go through uh, breaking down what Reddick and Davis roles are in this multiple scheme defense, the things they can do differently, and just try to get other people excited the way we're excited about this defense. So appreciate the hell out of you. My man Mitch in the building. Definitely look at this. We are just getting people stepping in. Dude, and unfortunately, I'm just rolling out. But Mitch, I appreciate you. Definitely, you let me know. We'd love to come on again, man. Always happy to try to hop on people's shows. And I told you guys, eventually here this season, I'm going to be bringing on guests again. So we're definitely going to be doing stuff around these parts. But I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, and look, man, that's a great bet. I know he's going to smoke your ass. But you all have yourselves a great day. And uh, I will talk to you tomorrow. If you need anything in between then, please reach out. If anything happens, I will jump back on. But have yourselves a great day. Um, and until next time, I'm Jimmy Smith. And this has been On the Road to Victory. Stay safe out there, and as always, go more!